Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher On in Guzman. Our topic for today is theorems on secant and tangent segment in a circle. In this video, we will illustrate the theorems on second segment, tangent segment, and external second segment, as well as we will solve problems involving second segment, tangent segment, and external second segment theorems. So we will talk about the first theorem. So we have second second segments theorem. So in this theorem, if two second segments are drawn to a circle from exterior point, then the product of the lengths of one second segment and its external second segment is equal to the product of the other second segment and external segment. So from our illustration, so we have here Fi times Ai is the same as the product of Hi times Ti. So our formula will be Fa times Ai is the same as Hi times Ti. It means that FA and H are uh, second segments drawn to the circle from the exterior point I. Let's begin with this word problem. So in a given figure, FA is equal to 6, AI is equal to 8, HT is unknown, TI is equal to 8, and find the value of X. Now, in order to solve that, we'll start with the given, okay, such that the line segment Fi times the extended okay, segment Ai is the same as the product of the segment Hi times Ti. But take note that Fi is equal to the sum of Fa plus AI times AI, which is the same as our HI is equal to HT plus the segment TI times the segment TI. Take note that if we will substitute the given value, FA is equal to 6, while AI is equal to 8 times AI is equal to 8 also, which is equal to HT is actually X plus the TI is equal to 8 times the TI is equal to 8. So simplifying it further, so we have 14 times 8 is the same as 8X plus 64. Since we distribute 8 to x, and 8 times 8 is 64. Simplifying it further, I have 112 is equal to 8x plus 64. Okay, then subtract both sides of the equation by 64. So 48 is equal to 8x. Next, since I have 48 is equal to 8x, so 48 is equal to 8x, and divide both sides by 8, so x is equal to 6. Okay, so therefore, the value of x is equal to 6. Let us now move on to the second problem. So in the given figure, SR is equal to 8, RM is equal to 12, AP is equal to X, PM is equal to 15. Find the value of X. So again, we will move on to the idea such that SM is equal to SR plus RM. But take note that SR is equal to 8. Well, Rm is equal to 12. So, Sm is equal to 20. In the same manner, if we will get the value of Am, 
this is equal to the line segment AP plus PN. But AP is equal to X, okay? And PM is equal to 15. Okay, from this, we can now have that SM times RM is the same as, okay, AM times PN based on our theorem. So SM is equal to 20 times the value of RM is equal to 12, while AM is equal to X plus 15 times the value of 15, which is equal to PM. All right. So 20 times 12 is equal to 240. So we have now distribute 15. So I have 15X plus 225. Then to solve for X, subtract both sides of the equation by 225. So 15 is equal to 15x. Okay. But I want to find the value of x, so divide both sides of the equation by 15. So x is equal to 1. The second theorem that we will discuss is the tangent second segments theorem. So we have if a tangent segment and a second are drawn to a circle, from an exterior point, that the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the second segment and its external second segment. So YO is a second segment drawn to the circle from the exterior point O. So let's consider that. So if we have here CO, so this is actually the tangent line while or the tangent segment, while YO is a um, second segment. So, if we will get the square of CO, this is equal to the product of YO times ON or NO. So, the formula will be CO squared is equal to YO times NO. Let us now consider this word problem. In the figure, RY is equal to 5, YO is equal to 6, find the tangent segment RN. So, let us consider the figure. So now in order to get RO, okay, so this is the combination of, of the line segment RY and line segment YO. Take note that RY is equal to 5 while YO is equal to 6. So RO or line segment RO is equal to 11. Now, if we will look back also of based on the given, Ry is equal to 5. So, Ry is equal to 5. Okay. Now, if we would like to find the value of Rm, take note that Rm squared is equal to the product of Ry and Yo. Take note that Ry is equal to 5 while YO is equal to 11. So, RM is equal to 55. Again, RM squared is equal to 55. But, if I look for the value of RM, I'll take the square root of the both sides of the equation. Okay. So, RM is equal to square root of 55. Okay? Or this is approximately equal to 7.42. So therefore, we can say that the value of Rm is equal to 7.42. So let us consider this part problem. In the figure, mp is equal to 30, qp is equal to 15, what is the length of the external second uh, segment x? So, in order to solve this, let us recall that QP squared is equal to the product of MP times 
and P. It means that, okay, this segment, PQ or QP squared is equal to the product of the line segment MP times the external second segment, okay, NP. So, again, QP is equal to 15 squared while MP is equal to 30 times the value of NP which is actually X. Okay, simplifying it further, so I have 15 squared is equal to 225 which is actually 30x and if I'm solved for the value of x, divide both sides by 30. So the value of x is equal to 7.5. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 7.5 which is the length of the external second segment x. The third theorem that we will discuss is about two intersecting chords theorem. So we have, if two chords intersect inside the circle, then the product of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. So let's study the given figure. So it means that, okay, HI times IA is equal to the product of FI times IT. So, we have the formula Fi times It is equal to Hi times It. Let us consider the next problem. So, in the given figure, Hi is equal to 6, Ia is equal to 3, It is equal to 2, Fi is unknown, which is actually x. So, what is the value of x? Now, since we have two chords intersecting inside, the circle therefore we can say that okay hi times ia is the same as fi times it so we will substitute the value of hi is equal to 6 times the value of ia is equal to 3 and fi is unknown so x while it is equal to 2 Simplifying it further, so I have 18 is equal to 2x, and I want to find the value of x. So divide both sides by 2, so x is equal to 9. So let's now consider the sixth example. So in the given figure, what is the value of x? So, first and foremost, that we have actually intersection of two chords inside the circle. So, therefore, we can say that, okay, so 10 times 4 is the same as we have x times x plus 3, okay? So, using the two intersecting chord theorem, simplifying it further, so 10 times 4 is equal to 40, which is equal to distribute x. So x times x is equal to x squared plus 3 times x is equal to 3x. So we will resolve now two quadratic equation. So again, so subtract both sides of the equation by 40. So I have 0 is equal to x squared plus 3x. So this time we will now have negative 40. Now, applying your knowledge on factoring quadratic trinomial, so we have 0 is equal to x, and we have x here. The factors of uh, 40 are actually 8 and 5. Okay, But we have here positive, so we'll put here positive 8. Then this is negative. So we have two values of x. So we have here, we can isolate x plus 8 is equal to 0 using the 0 property. On the other hand, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So we have here x plus 8 is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 8. On the other hand, x minus 5 is equal to 0, so x is equal to 5. Now, take note that we are looking for the length. So x must be positive. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 5. So that ends our lesson for today. So don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos.